So I finally thoroughly checked out the ProTube VR VR rifle. This is the full review coming up. Hi and welcome here at Mixed Reality TV. My name is Sebastian Ang and if this is your first time here and you're just as fascinated by VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. So this is the full review of the ProTube VR VR rifle. Now, for all of you who don't know yet, what is this kind of device? Well, this is a VR accessory. So you use it in VR first person shooters in order to increase immersion. So how does it work? Well, normally you have these two controllers and in first person shooters, you would kind of mimic to have a rifle in your hand, for example. But with this device, it's different. You really have a rifle in your hand. And how does it work? Well, you have these kind of cups here and you simply stick the controllers into it just like that. Yeah, and then you really, really have a rifle in your hand and it feels completely different like the real thing. And of course, the first person shooters will feel much, much more immersive than without it. ProTube VR is a startup from France and it's like three guys who are manufacturing and packaging everything by themselves from hand. So you'll get a handmade VR rifle if you order one from their website ProTube VR. Now on ProTubeVR.com they offer different kinds of models. Now this here is the high-end model, completely made out of carbon and well it just screams quality and high-end. Really really nice. And well the standard model is this here, it's made out of steel. So it definitely is a bit heavier, but well, I think honestly speaking, when using it, it's it's also really, really good. But yeah, this is definitely the high-end model. If you want the very, very best, you'd go for this one. So this high-end model costs 130 euros, while the, the standard one, the steel one, costs 80 euros. However, this will come to you already mounted. If you want the unmounted version and if you're confident that you can yeah, stick it together by yourself, then the price is going to be 20 euros cheaper at 60 euros. So you can have this device for 60 euros. Now, let me tell you a bit more about how everything works. So. So this here is, well, this is the carbon model now for Samsung Odyssey. So um, these cups are exactly made for the Samsung Odyssey. So they fit perfectly into these cups. However, if you buy this here for the Samsung Odyssey, this does not mean that if you change to, uh, let's say the Vive Pro in the future, this becomes useless. These cups here are exchangeable. So you can simply get the cups like this is, for example, the cup for the Oculus Rift and you can simply exchange it. So you can, you can get one rifle and it will work for all of your headsets. And I think this is really a great thing. So you're probably wondering how can you use one VR rifle for all the different games and weapons like for Onward, Pavlov, Bam and all of these games. How can you use one uh, VR rifle for all these games and all these different weapons and all the different people with a different arm length. Now, that is the great thing about the ProTube VR rifle. It's very heavily customizable. First of all, you can you can change the position of of these cups like like this. Yeah, so depending on on your arm size, you can check what is, yeah, what is what is comfortable for you? Like, for example, for me, it's like like this. So I can, I can hold it like that. That works nice. And then also here, you can change the angle here like this. So depending on the weapon or the game, you can quickly adjust angles and also the cups, the angles. So within the game you can easily adjust it very quickly and actually it works really well and better than I would have thought anyway so this is very very highly, highly customizable and I especially like 
how easy it is to change angles here and um, yeah, to make it fit for you. Well, I found out that actually I only had to adjust one thing first, which was uh, where exactly this cup was situated. Then I could very nicely use it for all the different games. And the only thing I had to do was adjust um, the angle here of, of, of this tube in front and sometimes the angle of the cup in front. But yeah, this was really, really fast. And overall, I can just say this is super nice quality. Then you also have this shoulder strap. So when you don't use a rifle within the game, then you can simply have it hang around your neck and yeah, it's out of the way. So very, very well thought out. But now let me show you the ProTube VR in action. All right, this is Onward and this is the Onward shooting range. Now, let me show you how we would normally play this without the ProTube VR. So here's the problem. We have this disconnect between virtual reality and reality because we can pull that whole rifle into our bodies. And also when we grab it with both hands, still we could um, yeah, have our both hands move together, but in the virtual reality, it looks like they're still on the same places. So there's a disconnect and that's really bad for immersion. Also, you can do all kind of funny things, as you can tell here. And again, you can put the whole rifle into your body and it feels wrong. Shooting works like this. You have to keep steady and simply mimic as if you were holding a rifle. And also, if you want to shoot like from the hip like this, it kind of feels strange and yeah, well, not great. So now let's check out the ProTube VR. So here we are in the same shooting range, same rifle, but this time with ProTube VR, I'm putting it into the cups. And yes, now I can feel the stock on my shoulder and it's just like, it feels I'm really holding that weapon. It's a totally different world. And to be able to feel the stock and to put your chin on it in order to aim, this is a very, very cool feeling and it just feels right. Just look at it, just look how it looks. It just feels the same, it feels right. So um, now I'm aiming through the side and that works also brilliantly. You cannot see it on this picture now because it's from the left eye, but my right eye actually is looking exactly through the sides and it works just like a charm. Also, if you wanna shoot from the hip, just like I do here, yeah, it feels like the real thing. Also, if you have to reload, it works like this. You take it off the cup you do your thing, like here, I'm, I'm uh, reloading now. And then you put it back into the cup. And that's it, and you're ready to go. Yeah, so this works really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I didn't just want to go to the shooting stand. I also tried an operation. Let's go into the operation now. Yeah, so we're in a mission now. And the first thing that comes to mind, it just feels so much more realistic holding the gun like this. I think this is how you would really walk through this area if you were really there. And it just makes such a big difference. Okay, now I get detect and I get the enemy on the first shot. Felt really great with this ProTube VR attachment. It's really a huge difference. And again, just walking through the area like this, the immersion is so much higher. It's really a big difference as compared to just holding these two controllers and yeah, just mimicking a rifle whenever there is some enemy. And here's another enemy. So I'm aiming through the side right now. You cannot see this now because we're seeing the picture of the left eye. But actually, I'm aiming through the sides with the right eye. So in this video, you cannot see it, but aiming through the sides works perfectly fine. Actually, I would say even better than without the ProTube VR because without the ProTube VR, probably I would put that Samsung Odyssey controller too close to the headset and as you know, there can be problems. But with this, your Odyssey controller is always in the right distance and it always works fine. Now I show you how I reload. 
yeah no problem at all put it back in and i'm yeah ready again to get into the fight Now let me show you some Pavlov VR. And also in Pavlov VR it works like a charm. The only thing I had to do, I had to change one angle a bit because it seems to be a bit different from game to game. But then once I had this change it worked just like this. But have a look yourself. I can just tell you I would not have thought what a big difference it makes to have this kind of contraption. It just feels so much more real, there's so much more immersion and thus so much more fun. As you all know I'm a very very big fan of immersion and using that ProTube VR VR rifle simply makes such a big difference. It's such an increase in immersion in first person shooter games. Think about it, like holding something like this as compared to just the sticks and mimicking that you would hold something. Oh my goodness, this is really, really a big difference. And I believe for first person shooter fans, this will even make your game better, as in your ability to shoot and to aim. This is such a nice um, accessory and I can very, very much recommend this to everybody who loves first person shooter games. And yeah, who loves immersion just as every other person loves immersion. It's simply so good. So then I was a bit concerned about like how well does it work, like if you have to reload your gun and such. But I can tell you with a bit of practice, this will be no problem. So you can easily always get out the, the front stick and do whatever you have to do in order to reload your gun and then simply put it back again. Everything is very, very simple and easier than I thought, so that is also no problem. Overall, I can say definitely go for the Proteo VR if you love first-person shooters. 130 euros, I think, is a great price for the high-end carbon one. But if you're on a budget, why don't you simply get the original steel one for 60 euro and mount it yourself and you'll have an awesome VR rifle. And that's it for the review of the ProTube VR, VR rifle. If you have any questions, of course, you can put them in the comment section below. But much better, why don't you directly ask me in the chat? You can reach me on the MRTV Discord server. The MRTV Discord server is a great resource where you can directly chat with me and the great MRTV community. You can reach it through the link in the description below. So do chat me up on the MRTV Discord server and directly ask me and the community and that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and of course if you've not subscribed to mixed reality tv yet do so now i'm looking forward to see you in the next episode